It's winter here today, 27th of February, and it's changed back to winter again. About 25 degrees, 24 degrees I think it warmed up to today so far. And it is snowing heavy and blowing. It's blowing about 25, 30 miles an hour and snowing heavy. Places where the wind isn't blowing, there's about a foot of snow. Places where the wind's blowing, it's hard to say, it varies. Oh, it was clear sky last night until after midnight. Stars were still out, and this just started sometime in the middle of the night. They could hear the wind starting to blow. But it's a blizzard here now. Real winter. Kind of funny because three, four days ago it was 45 degrees in the daytime and in the mid to lower 30s at night. Now it warmed up to 24 degrees in the middle of the day. Okay, that's enough of that. We well, got this hinge off there yesterday and de-riveted it from the false bar. I was going to take it down to the shop and start sandblasting and get it cleaned it up. But well, again, it was too cold in there to do anything, so we got a fire going in the shop to get it warmed up. Once it gets warmed up, then we'll go down there and uh, start cleaning this up, sandblast it. But meanwhile, I think it suffers, yeah, it suffers from the same problem as the other hinge did in that these gutters here for the water drain out of this are plugged up so I'm going to set up my roto-rooter and go through there and clean those holes out. Actually this one's not as bad as that other one was. I cleaned out pretty fast. Let's see how the other side does here. Oh, it's plugged up. Plugged up with paint and stuff. There, I guess. There we go. And let's see if I can find my short piece that I had. Well, I don't see the short straw that I had set up for um, cleaning that out. I'll run the long straw in from the bottom side of it here a little bit. That should do it. I got that gutter opened up and now when I put it in the uh, sandblaster I can put the sandblaster up against that and uh, blow, blow right through both of those. Get them cleaned out so that way the water will drain down through there. It looks like that's a good, a good thing to do to these. So I want to take that back down to the shop, wait for it to warm up in there a little bit and we'll get this part sandblasted and the outer portion of the shop where I do the powder coating, where I spray the powder coating on, is open to the air and it's covered up for the rain. It doesn't get rain. It's open on one end, but with this wind blowing and the snow and the snow is drifting right in there. So I'm going to have to figure out some way of doing the powder coating where it's not going to get contaminated with snow. Boy, it's something else out there today. Uh, wind is blowing. The snow has let off a little bit. I don't know how much snow there is out there. It must be close to a foot in the places where it's exposed it's not as deep but that wind is blowing and, and I'm walking over to the woodshed to get a chunk of wood for the stove in the shop it was uh, over a foot deep there and it's drifting it's coming in it's piling up against the door to the basement here even though it's covered up got a 12 foot cover over the front of it it's blowing into the shop in there the outer portion of my shop where I paint and stuff I got those parts sandblasted and cleaned up, but I don't think I'm going to be able to powder coat them until the snow quits, until the wind quits blowing, because it, it's just too nasty in, in my shop down there, in the outer portion of it where I, I paint and sand and uh, powder coat. The snow is blowing in there and it get everything wet, but the wind's blowing in there too and it just blows the uh, powder when you try to spray it all over the place. I got those parts cleaned up and they all look pretty good, except this is that outboard hinge for the flap and I got it sandblasted and 
I'm not too happy with that the way it turned out. I mean I got it nice and clean and everything but this bracket here is just bent up and folded over this channel where I was sandblasting underneath it you can see that it poked holes in it so it had some pretty good rust in it. It's pretty thin and I can see if I bend this ear back right through here that is less than half the thickness that it originally is so I don't like that. But then I start looking inside this channel and there was some pitting down here in the bottom. I, I could see that when I took it off that that was going to be there but there's some pitting back here underneath this bracket where it's at and on this side here it's pretty extensive and it goes more than halfway through the depth of this uh, metal right here so I'm gonna order a new part here I'm just looking at, at this and it comes in two pieces it comes with this um, piece right here I guess is one part number 10703-4 and in this bracket is a 12056-2 and that's a different bracket than uh, what the inboard flap hinge used but it's the same bracket as what's used on uh, two of the aileron hinges well anyway I, I could get a piece of, of steel and make one of these this is not that difficult somewhere here I've got well, I don't have it up here it's it's on the computer but somewhere I've got the plan the layout for that and I would think about doing that if this main piece here was in decent shape but it's not and I you look at it and you can see it's got a bow in it too but anyway with the fact that the pits go more than halfway through that metal there it just compromised too much so I'm gonna have to go down and and get on the computer again and see what I can do about finding one of those well, anyway, that's kind of disappointing that it couldn't clean up. I've got the inboard aileron hinge and the outboard aileron hinge where I can get to them right now and look at them. And I just looked at those pretty close, and they don't show a sign of rust in either one of those. With this one the way it is, I was kind of worried about maybe maybe those were bad too. I, I can't see the center hinge where it's at right now. It butts right up against the lathe here, so I'm going to have to move things around a little bit so I can get to that center hinge and check it out but so far this one looks like the only one that I have to worry about but that one that one I'm gonna red tag that one